Hey what's up guys I'm at here and today we have the P9 Ultimate smartwatch. It is sent by the Subwing official store on AliExpress and it is the latest Huawei watch ultimate replica which comes with many features inside it and even have always on display option for the watch face as well as the screen of dial. In this video we're gonna be talking about all of its features but before we start a subscribe to the channel will be highly appreciated. So let's get right into it and talk more about it. So let's see what comes inside the box. So I'm gonna lift it up and first of all we have the P9 Ultimate made smartwatch let's get them out then we have the leather straps and stainless steel straps and in the end we have the wireless charger and the user manual so let's take off the plastic wrap and here is the first look on the smartwatch it is looking good so if you look at the smartwatch it comes with ips display we have the tachymeter just like the huawei watch ultimate here we have seconds while here we have the compass poles on it while on the original huawei watch ultimate the blue version has hours on it then on the right side we have two keys first of all we have insensible no key which means you won't hear a clicky sound whenever you use it you can click it to access the menu and to go back then the down key can be used to turn on the screen of dial or to turn off the display and on the left side we have the sports key which can be used to access the sport modes so you can open the menu and go to settings and here go to key customization where you can customize the function of long press and double click on the sports key then on the back side we have the wireless charging and health sensors and it is using 22 millimeter straps and here is how the smartwatch looks on the wrist with different straps which one is your favorite let me know about it in the comment section below then here we have the microphone hole and on this side we have the speaker holes if you look at the display it is an ips display and it is a full size display as you can see here overall the colors and the smoothness of the smartwatch is quite good and i really like it overall then on the home screen we have the control center with a lot of options then from left to right we have quick access page just like the original huawei watch then from right to left we have the quick access applications and from bottom to top we have the notifications let me show you all of the watch faces So these were all of the built-in watch faces. From the control center, you can turn on the lock mode and the dial will be locked. But it is also quite annoying. Whenever you will accidentally use the crown key, it will prompt you with this error. So to unlock the dial, you will have to press and hold the key for 3 seconds. Then the watch faces have sweeping seconds and as you can see here. So you can go to settings and time where you can set the time and date manually. And you can also choose between 12 hour and 24 hour clock format. Now let's check out the menu styles. So the menu icons are not exactly the same as the huawei watch ultimate but they are quite similar there is no animation on opening the application but it has slight transition while quitting the application it also has the scroll down and scroll up gesture you can double click the crown key to change the menu style here's the second menu style then here is the third one then we have a circular menu style and in the hand we have a straight list and a curved list let me show you all of the languages supported by it So it supports very few languages. The screen timeout has the normally on option which means the display can stay on forever until the battery dies. Then it also has the screen off dial which also has the normally on option and the screen off dial can also stay on forever until the battery dies. It also has the tap to wake option. It also has the raise hand to brighten up the screen option but it does not turn off the display if you are using the always on display mode for the watch face. But if you are not using the always on display then the raise gesture can also be used to turn on the screen off dial or to turn off the display. You can also a passcode on the smartwatch it also has the sound and vibration option but i am unable to turn on the sound mode and also cannot set the vibration intensity it uses the hd fit pro application first of all we have the face gallery here or the watch face market so it comes with a lot of watch faces inside it and as far as i have checked all of the watch faces are available for totally free and if you want to use your own picture from the gallery you can go to the custom section and here we have three options you can use the picture dial to use single picture from your gallery as a watch face then we have album dial on which you can use up to five pictures to be used as your watch face so whenever you raise your hand to turn on the screen it will have a different watch face and then in the end we have the video dial on which you can install a short video as a watch face and if you look at the customization options you can also use pointer dial on the custom watch face we only have this digital clock available here or you can choose to not use a clock at all then you can use your smartwatch as a bluetooth shutter button to click pictures directly using it and after the timer it will click the 
the picture. Then we have find device which can be used to find your smartwatch. The smartwatch will start to vibrate but it does not ring. Although the vibration intensity is quite strong but I would really appreciate if they can add the option that the smartwatch also rings. Then we have reminders here. First of all we have the call reminder. So you can get the call notification on your smartwatch even when bluetooth calling is not connected. Then we have sms reminders here and here we have message reminders which has the other option which means it can receive notifications from almost all of the applications on your smartphone even if that application isn't listed here. So it does not turn on the display when you receive a new notification it just vibrates. It shows a banner notification when you receive a new notification and you cannot scroll in the notification and it doesn't show much content in the notification as you can see here. It also doesn't show a red dot when you have an unread notification. Then we also have health reminders. Then in other settings we have this synchronized time option and you can choose between the units you prefer. You can also push weather updates to the smartphone using it and here are the values compared to the apple server. Then you can set the goal here. You can also sync your favorite contacts in the smartwatch but you can only add 8 commonly used contacts in it. And here we have business card or the QR code. Here we have the NFC customization options and it can also be used as an NFC shortcut card. Then here we have the wallet option. In the end it can also connect with Apple Health. And the smartwatch also supports firmware upgrades. But since receiving it I haven't received a firmware upgrade. To connect with Bluetooth calling access the control center and enable the calling icon. And then connect with P9 ultimate underscore audio. And once connected you can dial directly on it and call directly from here and after connecting with bluetooth calling you can receive as well as accept calls directly on it here you can increase and decrease the volume level you can also mute from here but it does not have the option to transfer the call to the smartphone and you can end the call from here after that using bluetooth calling you can also access voice assistant on it hey siri how's the weather today the forecast is calling for thunderstorms today Daytime temperatures will hover around 33 degrees. The sound is not so loud but it is audible and it is also quite clear. And it also has the find phone option but it does not ring even if it is not on vibration mode. So this probably won't help much. Now let's see if we can control the media playing on our device using it. But it is not working for me even with bluetooth calling. Maybe it has something to do with youtube and it is not supported on youtube. So now let's check the rest of the features. First of all we have the pedometer and it does work for me as you can see here it has counted 7. 723 steps and has also estimated the calories burnt and the distance I have covered. And if we talk about the health related applications, we have heart rate, blood pressure, blood oxygen level, body temperature, and blood sugar applications. And if you use any of them on the table, it does not measure the data and prompts that please wear the smartwatch to measure the data. Then, as soon as you place the smartwatch on your wrist, it will start to measure the data. And in a few seconds, it will start to give values. Then we have the exercise modes here. You can tap on the three dots to set the calories target time or you can choose training then we have the sleep tracker here Here we have pressure data then we have breach training you can also customize the speed and the time then we have the met data here we have an application for the women then we have stopwatch but i couldn't find the timer or countdown application in it and you can also add alarms directly in the smartwatch here is how the alarm is shown it does not ring it only vibrates we have the snooze and stop options here and the vibration and alert only continues for 10 to 15 seconds we have the calculator application here we have the calendar for for the ongoing month then we have the compass application inside it here we have the movement track for which you can use this sports tab in the HD Fit pro application and you can keep a record of the path while training then we also have three games inside it we have 2048 we have asuka and sokoban i'm not sure what it is in the end we have barometer and the altimeter this smartwatch also comes with the bedside clock mode and if you talk about the battery it is advertised to come with a 420 mAh of battery inside it which can give you three to five days on normal usage and 7 to 10 days on standby. If I talk about my personal experience, then I've been recording this part of the video for about 20 to 30 minutes now, in which it has lost around 8 to 10 percent of the battery. Remember that I've been continuously using the smartwatch since then, and the display also has been turned on for almost two to four hours since it has the always on display. So I recorded one part, then went out, then came back home and recorded this part of the video again. So using always on display, it wouldn't have such a good battery life since it doesn't have AMOLED display. But I think if you use it without always on display, then it can give you a decent battery life. So guys, this is all from today's video and from this P9 Ultimate smartwatch. To be honest, the smartwatch does look good. It has always on display for both the screen of dial and the watch face screen. But it would have been great if it also had the AMOLED display. Then it would be surely one of the best replicas of the Huawei Watch Ultimate. As of now, I am not much satisfied by the touch of the smartwatch. Overall, the UI looks good. The application is also good and the watch faces are also good. If 
speedometer also works fine it also have wear detection and proximity sensor so what do you think about it let me know about your opinion in the comment section below and if you would like to purchase it i'm gonna be leaving its link in the description box below and i would really appreciate if you can use that link to purchase the smartwatch you can also visit my channel to find many more amazing smartwatches and make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to stay updated on the upcoming videos i'll catch you in the next one until next time this is imat peace